uh, in 6.2 chapter 6 um, point 2 uh, we are going to uh, see how we can calculate the measures for the variability of bivariate data and we have just said that bivariate data is data that has two kind of information running parallel for example we have marks in physics marks in mathematics running or rather scored by the same students so and we have seen that in chapter 3 uh, you found the variance of a set of data by using the formula which we all know and let's just write it here variance is given by the sigma of the x minus the mean everything squared and divided by the number of entries n in correlation uh, we write uh, sigma x minus mean squared uh, which we can say is equals to the sigma of any entry minus the mean multiplied by itself that is simply what is meant by squared this one in correlation because of this part and this part appearing twice which is supported by the square in correlation we write them as s x x this is very important uh, we are going to understand what that means shortly therefore the s x x in correlation is simply going to be the sigma of any entry x minus the mean squared <clears throat> in a similar way s y y is the same as the sigma of any entry now the other part of bivariate data minus the mean of that data squared uh, you can also define a quantity known as covariance which is simply the sigma of any entry x minus its mean multiplied by any entry y minus the mean of that data divided by the number of entry and again we use the short hand as s x y is equals to the sigma of x minus the mean of x multiplied by y minus the mean of y and that is now s x y so of most importance i would want us to focus on that part on that part and on that part there is nothing complicated here x means one part of bivariate data and y means the other part of bivariate data uh, and we are going to use this uh, to solve or to understand <clears throat> what is it that we need to know as far as this one is concerned and this information is going to be used and to help us solve example 4 so we go to page 120 and let us solve example 4 and example 4 talks of uh, example 4 is saying the head circumference of uh, the head circumference in centimeter x and gestation period in weeks y uh, for newborn babies at a certain clinic over a period of time were as follows you all have the table on page 120 for example there is baby a whose head circumference was 31.1 centimeters and the gestation period was 36 weeks we have baby b whose circumference was 33.3 and the gestation period was 37 all the way to baby f whose uh, circumference was 
30.2 and the gestation period was 40. Now, in that particular data, or rather we have, let's have this table briefly here. Let's have this table here briefly. And that we have baby, we have the baby. And then we have, uh, we have the what? And then we have the head circumference, head circumference. And then we have the gestation period. There is baby A all the way to F, B, C, D, E, and baby F. This one had 31.1. And then 33.3, and then 30.0, and then 31.5, and then 35.0, and then 30.2. Decision period we have 36, 37, and 38, followed by uh, uh, 38. A 40 and another 40. Now, from this question, <coughs> we are asked to find, find SXX. And I told you from the previous example that SXX is given by the sigma of any entry as far as X is concerned. We have to choose what is X minus the mean of cos squared. Uh, if this is x, then this is y. The head circumference is x, and the gestation period is y. What is x? x indicates any entry. For a, x is that 1.1. For B, X is 33.3. And for C, all the way for F, X is 30.2. But what is X bar? X bar, for all of us, we know that this is the mean of X, or the mean in X. How do we attain X bar? We attain X bar by adding all the X's, sigma X over N, which is that 1.1 plus 33.3 plus 30 plus 31.5 plus 35 plus 30.2 you divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is what is going to give you the x bar. And in this case, what is the x bar? According to our calculation, if you do all this, then x bar is going to be 31. 0.85. Please find out whether that is correct. And of course, um, SXX is now going to be 31.1 minus X bar, 31.85. Um, uh, squared plus 33.3 minus 31.85 squared plus 30 minus 31.85 squared plus 31.5 minus 31.85 squared plus 35.0 minus 31.85 squared plus 30.2 minus 31.85 squared. Now, the sum of all this, which is now indicated by the sigma symbol, which means the sum of all these squared, all, all, all the sum of all these squares is going to be, um, is going to be 18.8. 5, 5. You also can find out whether that is right. And therefore, SXX, which is after you operate all this, will simply give you 18.855. But I would want to repeat again that SXX, which is the sigma of all operations around this kind of arrangement, 
where x is every entry and x bar is the mean of all the entries put together, when you do that individually and uh, when you add all of them together, they should give you 18.855. Okay?